Living your best life and making memories in Tuscany. Home to gorgeous vineyards, historic sites, delicious food, and unusual adventures. We'll explore Siena. Guys, right now we are at the Piazza del Campo. And investigate the unusual. These are the truffles that our dogs here have found, if you can believe that. Then we're off to see San Gimignano. When you're getting close to the vineyards of the Vernaccia wine grapes, which are only grown here, you know you're getting close to the medieval city of San Gimignano. And so much more. Hello, darling. Hear you, hear you. Welcome to Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World from Tuscany. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Stanton and I'm here in Florence, the capital of Tuscany, with my friend Jennifer Beale. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for having me, Lizzie. We are standing in the Piazza della Signoria. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, it is. And we have so much to do and see here. So if you're ready, let's do it. I'm so ready. Let's go. <laughs> Italy is one of my favorite countries to travel in, and I've always wanted to see Tuscany. Home to amazing food, gorgeous vineyards, medieval hill towers, and so many artistic masterpieces. If you're traveling to Tuscany, you've got a lot of options on where to go and what to do, because this region in Italy stretches from the mountains to the sea. We wanted to take a tour into the surrounding countryside, and we found an adventure that's pretty unique to this area, truffle hunting. Dai, su, dai. Dai, di, dov'è, dov'è, dov'è? Dov'è? Pepita, vieni. Dov'è, Moca, dov'è? Vieni. Qua, bravo, vieni. Pepita, vieni. Dov'è lì, dov'è? Dov'è, Moca, dov'è, Moca, dov'è? Dov'è, brava qui, dai, brava che c'è lì, dai, dov'è, dov'è, dov'è? Vieni, dai. Vieni qua, dai. Dov'è lì, dov'è? E brava! Brava! Vieni, vieni! Oh my gosh, look! I think he's found another one! Brava, Moka! <gasps> Jen and I knew truffles were used in gourmet foods. Things like truffle chips, truffle cheese, truffle oil, and they're considered a delicacy because you can't just grow them. Specially trained dogs have to hunt them by sniffing them out in a forest, and then you have to dig them out. So it's no wonder they're rare and expensive. We were about to learn so much more from a real pro, a truffle hunter with 15 years of experience. So right now we're taking a little break, but we've already had some success. These are the truffles that our dogs here have found, if you can believe that. Look how big these are. You've been working very hard. <laughs> um, are the dogs bred just to find truffles? Yes, this is a mocha, is a kind of Italian dog, very mm -hmm. famous in the world of truffle. And uh, she's Pepita, black Labrador. And she's better at finding white truffle, right? Yeah, usually, be yes, because uh, Pepita is more strong uh, and she can swim in the, in the river in the winter, but Mocha is more resistant in the summer. Right. Yeah, and the white truffles are very far down. Yes, the white truffle sometimes is very deep. And they're sometimes very expensive. One meter. Yes, very expensive, especially when uh, you, don't, you don't have a white truffle, the price <laughs> Very, goes up. Yeah, yeah. And how much do you think this truffle would be? This is a black truffle? Uh, yes, I think uh, it's black summer truffle. Mm -hmm. I think uh, 100 gram, it's uh, 70 euro, more or less. Can I keep it? Yeah, <laughs> no. you can keep it. I'll give it back. Um, and how many truffles do you find? Can you find them all year round? Usually in one day, when is the best moment, you can find half kilo, one kilo of wow. black truffle. And for, for white truffle is different. How many different types of truffle? Uh, in Tuscany we have uh, four types of black truffle and two types of white truffle. Wow. And so we have uh, fresh truffle all the year, wow. especially in the summer and in the autumn. And the big truffle that I found is a 400 gram, mm -hmm. one white truffle in wow. uh, December. How two, much two would that be? Ago. Uh, $2,000. $2,000? Yes. You need to find us a big white truffle. <laughs> yeah. Following Alessandro and the dogs in the woods was actually kind of exciting. We really got caught up in the adrenaline of the hunt. Once Pepita and Mocha got the scent of a truffle, Alessandro would stop, dig, and search. And when they dug up a truffle, the dogs would get a treat for their hard work. Wow, I seriously can't believe how many truffles we found today. Let's count to see how many Kay. we found. Yeah. Okay. One, two, Three, four, your little hands can't hold it. Five, 
six, seven. 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 That is a lot of truffles. How yeah. many grams do you think? No, I think uh, two hundred grams. Yes. Two hundred. More or less. Yes. Very good. I know that you took a little bite out of one of these truffles. That can one. You still sell that one? Yeah. Yeah. You uh, just shave off the part. You, you can shave it over the pasta, mm. gnocchi, ravioli, tagliatelle. Take it home and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> and how much money do you think we've made today? More or less uh, 140 euro. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, good, it's a good, uh, good hunting. All right, so can we go eat something with some truffles on it now? Please. Once we made it out of the woods, Alessandra took us back to a shop on the corner of Piazza del Campo. The shop is easy to find. As Alessandro says, just follow the scent. Look at all these truffle products. Yeah. So if we were to want to take some truffles home with us, how could we pack them? Can we take a yeah. whole one? Yes, it's possible. I can prepare in a special jar mm -hmm. with a, a ice gel. Mm -hmm. Okay, for wow. travel, and in uh, 30 hours, for example, you can have at home. And it's still good? Yeah, no Great. problem. Great. And everything that you have in here is the truffles that you've been out and found with the dogs yeah. and then made these products? Yes, I have uh, some friends with a farm and that prepare the products for me with my wow. truffle. Wow, that's yes, amazing. From this area. From Siena. Coming up next, the magic of San Gimignano. Today it's tradition to make a wish and throw a coin in. And more from Tuscany. Dun, da, da, da. Defend the wall! Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World from Tuscany will be right back.